Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Economics. We are back better than ever. It's a Tuesday. Brian, today's a week of a lot of things coming out. We'll be talking about all that and so much more this week on the show. How are you doing, Brian? How was your week? Um, my week has been slightly eventful. Um, I caught up on some things. I did get to go to a uh, Yankee flea market, saw some really cool stuff there. I know you went to um, the Clam Chowder Fest. It was Charlestown Seafood Festival. Seafood Festival. Yes. Um, so we got, and some new big news broke with DC, with Warner Brothers. Um, some shows did drop. Um, so we, we got a lot to talk about today. It might, won't be a long show, but you know, we got some good stuff. Um, I know last week we talked about Paper Girls, uh, my update real quick before we get into anything. I watched the first three episodes. I loved it. I watched episode four this past weekend. And you're probably going, why did you just finish the series? I, because you're Brian and you don't. I'm Brian and I like to take my time and I am really enjoying the show. Um, I really think they did a fantastic job of um, bringing this world to life. Um, but I really, really am afraid that we won't get a season two, just like we didn't get a season two of Why the Last Man. Um, I don't see anybody talking about this show really at all. Like it dropped and all every the the. Um, the interwebs has mostly been about Prey, Sandman. Um, so I don't know. I'm just going to take my time watching it. I'm not going to rush through it because I kind of feel like we'll be very lucky if we get a season two. Uh, I don't know how Am the things that work at Amazon Prime, I don't know how things get second seasons or not, but I mean, I'm I feel like Amazon's a little bit less like uh gun like pull the trigger on canceling shows as other places are like the right. time shows on its third season and i haven't heard a word about that yeah maybe you know maybe i'm wrong i mean but i'm taking my time with it it's i think it's a good place for it of all the places that it could be airing i think amazon prime is the best spot for that like i think if why less man was on amazon prime it'd still be going well, we, I think the, the Hulu FX thing was a bad spot for that. Well, the problem was with Why the Last Man it had a lot of troubled production. It was very expensive. Um, yeah. So I feel like if it were to be picked up, maybe Amazon, because it's canceled, um, maybe Amazon would pick it up. I, I mean, I feel like that show is not coming back. Um, but we'll see what Paper Girls... It does make me want to uh, finish the series. So that's next in my, my reading docket is to finish Paper Girls. And then we'll discuss this now. Uh, on my second docket for reading will be jumping into Sandman. And the show just dropped this past yes, weekend on Netflix. I, just finished it. Uh, I want to read the series first before I watch it. And Mark, without spoiling anything, what do you think? Would you think of season one of Sandman? Uh, As someone I'm, who didn't read it, I haven't read a thing about it. I don't know anything going in. I know of Sandman. I think yeah. I might have like seen a book or two randomly, but never read anything about it. Um, I was really into it. I thought it was really good. I thought they did a really good job of it. Yeah, I mean. As you you said in our group chat, uh, Jenna Coleman being in it boosts the show up at least ten points for me. Yeah, I haven't seen her in forever, huh? I know since Doctor Who. I know. So when she appears, it, it makes the show better for me. I was like, oh yeah, Jenna Coleman. And she's playing um, Con and Constantine's ancestor. That's pretty. Cool. But they're like they gender swapped it because even. In other iterations of the character, it's Joanna Constantine, not John Constantine. Really? So, yeah, which you'll see when you get to the show. 
Uh, but it's really good. I liked it. It like went really fast. It's like a 45, 50 minute show. Fluctuates in between there. Uh, Gwendolyn Christie as Lucifer is awesome. She does a great job. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, it was just a really like Pat Oswalt as a Raven. Mark Hamill played Mark Hamill plays plays plays. the pumpkin head guy. Yeah, looks like the uh, reminded me of. Uh, remember? I know what you're gonna say. Wait, 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 wait. Sequel? Yes, yes, that's what I was gonna yeah, say. Remind me of that, like that character. Yeah, Murph, but that that's not his character in Sandman. But I mean, in this, in that, it was like, is that where they got the pumpkin guy from? Return to Oz. I thought the same thing. <laughs> no joke. When I saw the image of it, yeah. yeah, I was like, that's exactly the same character, completely, basically, just different voice. Right. But, but yeah, it was really cool. They did a really good job. The whole Cain and Abel stuff was neat. Uh, yeah, not knowing anything about the Sandman whatsoever, I think it was a very, very good show. I would suggest it to anybody. I yeah. definitely see it getting multiple seasons on Netflix. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, it yeah, was definitely talked about a lot this weekend. Yeah. It's only 10 episodes. You can get through it pretty quick. I mean... I kind of feel like the Sandman is very dense in that you kind I kind of wish it was a week to week kind of show because I kind of feel like everybody talked about it this weekend. Well, you could everybody... do it that way, but the way they did this show, they I don't know the story like the comic itself, so I don't know how they like pace it or how the story goes like time wise, like how they move through the story. So for me, it's like it seems like there was a lot more story that they like sped through in some parts but that was about it like the the constantine stuff constantine as they call her in the show uh seemed like they sped through that pretty quick yeah probably just drawn out more in the story but it's like that's the only thing i don't know like where if like this is only one part of a story that they did or Whatever. So I don't know how that all works out, but hmm. I liked it. Cool. I mean, I could see if you like, like Rocky was saying, if you if you're like a big fan of the book. I don't know what your like interpretation I, would be. A lot of people in my in my social media feeds that have read the books or big fans, they've loved it. I yeah. really have not seen really anyone complain about it. Yeah. A lot of like there are some people in my feeds that we're just talking about how much they love the graphic novels and seeing it come to life was really well done. And yeah, I really haven't seen a bad word to be honest with mm. you. I mean, so, yeah, so my hopes I are mean, for me, I know you like doing it this way where you like reading the book first and then yeah, watching the show. Like I've gotten to the thing where I'm like, I like watching the show first. Cause I feel like the show is like a, like a, an ad for the book kind of. Because the books are way denser, like even Paper Girls. Like, yeah, I reread the first book of Paper Girls, and I was like, "Wow, they jumped over a lot of stuff in this." Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like they got rid of a lot of things that like are longer sections in the book that they like just like like blip through pretty basically. So I was like, so I kind of like the show, watching the show first, and then going back and maybe watch reading the books so you get more in depth into the story a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I just like reading it first, and then I'll watch it because yeah. the Everett Sandman is dense, so it's like I'm not going to read all that before I watch the show. So yeah, and I mean, see, also all these shows being based off of comic older stuff, I will I will buy something, and then my collection just gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and then yeah. I haven't read it. So this for me, it's like, oh, this is the excuse I need to start reading that. Yeah, like. The boys. I had bought all the volumes, and yeah. then I was like, "The boys was like, okay, I gotta read them. Uh, yeah. Why the Last Man? When that show is coming, I'm like, okay, I gotta read them. And I, Why the Last Man is absolutely amazing. Um, yeah. And then um, reading um, when Sweet Tooth came out, I love Sweet Tooth, the graphic yeah. novels. I didn't really care for the show. The show was so so, um, but like anyway. Yeah, it just for me, it's like, wow, this is a good reason to jump into my collection. Yeah. 
and not let it just rot there because I'm always buying stuff and I'll yeah, read them. I, I got to start reading a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Like Paper Girls, I have the first five. I never got that. The last one, because at the time, I think it was like, I don't know, just things happened. But now I'm like getting back and I read the first book over the weekend and I'm going to get back and reading the rest of them. Yeah, I want to I want to reread them too. I have all the volumes. Yeah, but I I didn't finish the last two the last two, and you're right. I googled it. Brian K. Vaughn said that was the end. So now yeah. I know. I thought they were coming back because the last issue he said they were taking a break. Yeah. Um. So it's confirmed. Yeah. Um, but anywho, uh, I didn't watch Prey. That was another big talked about movie this weekend. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to watch that yet. Yeah, I gotta watch that. Um, it does look really good. It's getting good reviews. Um, I I didn't. I wasn't sure how it was gonna go. I'm like, is this gonna? Suck? Yeah, I was on like the fence. Like, I watched. I did watch the uh, Adam Sandler basketball movie that came out, Hustle. Oh yeah, how was it? And that was good. Like, if you're into basketball or into sports, yeah, it's a good sports movie. I mean, it wasn't like anything groundbreaking. Just a great sports movie. I think that's like, as he gets older, I think that's his like niche now. It's like not like super dramatic, but it's also not like so much comedy. Yeah, but he didn't produce a that, movie. No, so. exactly. But it's like, it's a, well, he produced it. It's a Happy, Mad, Happy Madison movie. Is it? I thought it was someone else. No, it's his production company because it's at the very beginning of it. Really? I yeah. thought it was, um, whatchamacallit people. No, he produced it, but I think someone else directed it and did the other stuff. But it was like a nice blend. It's a nice spot for him. Well, you got to watch Uncut Gems. because I watched that too. I've seen that. That was good, good too. He was good in that. He was also good in Punch Drunk Love, I thought. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that came out a long time ago. Uncut yeah. Gems is still is amazing. Yeah, that was a good flick too. Yeah, the ending was yes intense. It was. Um, so anyway, what? Oh man, I'm so lost now. Um, what did I do last week? Huh? What did I do over the weekend and last week? Is that what you're gonna ask? Yeah, how was how was the clam chowder fest? It was a seafood festival, not the clam chowder fest. Did you eat seafood or just clam chowder? I had clam chowder. I had clams. Clams, eggs. So so it was a clam fest for you. Well, yeah, and that's all. I'm not I'm not a big seafood guy. Yeah. Well, that's all oysters. seafood. So you are a seafood guy. Yeah. So like, not like not like a deep like I don't like branch out into the other seafoods. I stay in my lane. I know what I like and I know what I'm happy with. So I don't like venture out. Right. Yeah. Although I did have a stuffy for the first time. Well, what is that? Uh, in Rhode Island, they have these things called stuffies, and it's a uh, a coag clamshell that they take uh, seafood stuffing, which is like clams and other stuff, and stuffing. Mm -hmm. Then they put it inside the clamshell, and then they serve them to you. How was that? It was all right. It wasn't anything to write home about. It was okay. It was a local thing, so I went for it. I was like, well, you know, when in when in Charlestown. Charlestown? Yeah. That's where the seafood festival is. It's I guess it's a pretty big seafood festival. I haven't been to many seafood festivals, but Claire and her family used to go when she was growing up. Yeah. So her sister and Jonas and Emmy went. And then they it was Sarah was taking Jonas for his Father's Day gift. Was this was his Father's Day gift to go camping and go to the seafood festival? Because it's the thing they used to do before Emmy was born. Yeah. You know what? So, I was you like, know, I have to I say the weather not does not scream. I want to eat seafood in hot. Humid. It really wasn't that bad down there. It was because you're right. It's the, where the place is. It's close to the ocean. It's pretty like close enough where you get like the sea breeze kind of. So it was like probably about 10 degrees cooler. Wasn't as humid. Oh, sounds horrible though. It was nice. It was like in the 80s. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't good either. I got to play skee-ball, so I was happy. 
That's good. Win Emmy a giant lion. Yeah, you do like to win. You do win things. I'll tell I you. Do. I do. Which they, it was fun for me because I get the, I gave it to her, and then Claire's like, and even Jonas and Sarah are like, oh, it's awesome. And then I'm like, yeah. Now you guys have to take that back to your campground. Have fun with that in the tent. So. Diabolical. Oh my lord. Really low diabolical. Oh my Lanta. But I always stayed at this nice little place in Wyoming, Rhode Island, which I never knew existed, which is right outside Richmond. Someone's at the door. Um, but yeah, so we stayed there and it was a nice little place. It was a bed and breakfast that we stayed at. It's the first time I've been to a bed and breakfast. So but do you have to get uh, there? Yes, I do. I'll get that in a second. It was a good, it was a good weekend, it was a good time. So, Mark, let's jump. Let's just jump into some news. Okay. So, yeah, I got uh, shows coming out this week and next week. We have a lot of shows coming out that you're well, going to see for a year and a half. What, what's coming out? Uh, coming out tomorrow. Uh, I am Groot on the Disney Plus. I'm not going to watch that. Uh, Lock and Key on Netflix. Um, I've never. I do want to read the series, but I'm not yeah. going to watch it. Yeah. And uh, the returning series. Yeah, where the show's done. No, that's fine. A new, the a new season of Resident Alien. I haven't. I stopped watching it. Why? I don't know. It was was it for me? So Resident Alien, why don't you watch it anymore? I, I don't know. It just wasn't for me. No, oh, I, like I couldn't it. get into it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I just wasn't. I stopped. I watched like two, three episodes, and I just. I don't know. I just found myself not really into it. That's it all. got better as the season went on, the first season. It took a bit to get going. I'm sure, just not... Yeah. No, I'm just saying. Yeah. Uh, then, it's um, a popular show if they're up to season three. They are, yeah. yeah. This starts, it started on Kickstarter. That's pretty crazy. Which is pretty impressive, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, a show I know my sisters are very excited for. I don't know if you're into this. Uh, a League of Their Own. That's I love the movie. Yeah, it's a show on Amazon Prime. I saw the trailer. It looked good, but I'm not going to watch it. But it looked yeah. good. It looks okay. like well done. Yeah. The cast I mean, looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next week, She-Hulk. Next. Next Thursday. All right, let's put a pause right here. She-Hulk, ne next Thursday, they moved it one day. It's going to be on Thursdays. Yes. Because Andor, when it starts, it's going to be on Wednesdays. Yes. And then, no joke, in the middle of September, because Game of Thrones starts in two weeks. Yes. Um, we are going to have, at, in September, we're going to have Andor Wednesdays. Yes. We're going to have She-Hulk Thursdays. Yes. And then we're going to have Game of Thrones on Sundays. Yes. That's nuts. And there's I, also another show on Fridays that's coming out. Yeah, but these are the big three. But I think there's another like bigger show. If you can't think of it, oh, uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, 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 um, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. When that's does that? Was. When does that start? I find out. But I think that starts in September, if I'm not mistaken. But you're right. If Lord of the Rings is starting in September, we will now have must see TV four days out of the week. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. We haven't had something like that in a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Friday, September 2nd. Wow. Okay. So we're, we're getting very close to that too. Yeah. I mean, for me personally, of course, I'll watch She Hulk. Of course, I'm going to watch Endor. Yes. Um, or Andor, Game, if you will. Andor, Andor. Andor, Game of is Thrones, the Andor is the person. Game of Thrones, the more I get close to it, the more it does look interesting. If I can get uh, my wife to watch it with me, I'll watch it week to week. If not, we'll probably wait till it ends and then yeah. watch it. Um, and then Lord of the Rings, I still have to watch the, the whole trilogy, so I'm not going to even bother with that show. I don't really care. Um. I was going to watch the trilogy this summer, so that's my goal. Well, you're getting close to the end of summer, so you better get around to working on that. I know, but I i mean, the show looks good. 
I don't know any of those characters, so I don't really have like an excitement. So I don't think anyone knows any of the characters from this one because it's a new thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a prequel. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. But anyway, that is still musty TV. Not just because it's not musty TV. And I don't know if you're into this. Like I don't know a couple people were into this back in the day. I don't know how long ago it originally came out, but they're doing a Cuphead show. Yeah, it's an animated show. Yeah, on Netflix. That comes out next week too. Based off right. a video game, which yeah. is a fantastic. It's um, it's all hand drawn. It's yeah. really spectacular. I mean, I think animation it will do well on Netflix. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's a lot of con- that's a lot of shows coming out. Yeah. You no, know, She Hulk. Let's talk about that for a minute. Like, the closer we're getting to it, I'm slightly getting excited. Um. There, I saw a photo how Daredevil shows up, but he's wearing he's got the yellow helmet on, which is interesting. Multiple, huh? He shows up multiple times. I hear. Well, in the trailer, in the trailer, he shows up in the all red outfit. No, people got in the trailer, he's got the yellow helmet. Oh, the thing I saw, he was in the red. Oh, I don't know. This is what I've been seeing, uh, which I like the yellow. Um. I'm a big fan of the yellow daredevil outfit. Mm. Uh, now it is confirmed. I don't know. If we, we we talked about this that Daredevil is getting his own series on Disney yes, Plus. We talked about this, yes. But he's getting did we, we he's getting nine like he's getting 12, 18 episodes. 18 that's like crazy. Because I guess it's gonna be like encompassing multiple storylines. Yeah, we did talk about that. You're right. Yeah um anyway she hulk what are your feelings are you getting more excited or less excited i've never been a she hulk fan i i don't know much about she hulk <laughs> bless you hey like, um yeah but i know much about she hulk i know that she came out in the 70s and all that i never was a, I don't know it never really crossed my purview of being into something i've read i mean i'm interested to see the show because it's in the Disney world, so. Well, it's going to tie in to a lot of things that are happening. That's why I feel like it's going to be like the bridge show for a lot of different things, launching things, introducing things. Yeah, I think we're going to get some answers with this one. Yeah. Because we're we're winding down this phase. Yeah. Um, it's a quick we, have, we have She-Hulk, and then we have one more thing. Um, forever. And that's the end of this phase. Yeah. Over a hundred effing hours yeah one of the longest and biggest phases mcu's ever had which is crazy because it really doesn't feel like much has happened not much ha- like a lot of confusion has happened yeah. that's about it yeah you but gotta get the door again i do i'm so uh, glad they showed up for an hour and a half cool. huh? gonna, i think they're gonna get it i don't know where we were she hulk that, that's are you happening. excited for the show to come out this next week yeah, I mean, I'm getting there. I think I, as we're getting closer, I'm excited because I want to see what, what's going to tie in. And yeah, I feel like we're getting close to some, some, some like more answers. And then, well, kind of forever. I, I'm, I, I'm super excited for that movie. And bringing a box of tissues, it's going to be a tear jerker. Yeah, I think, I, 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 I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. It's going to outperform Avatar 2. I would say, I hope so. I think more people are excited for Wakanda Forever. It outperforms the new Top Gun movie, which is flying up the charts. It just beat Titanic domestically. Yeah, just past I mean, Avatar. Yeah, and domestically, it's yeah. uh, in the top five now. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not a big Tom Cruise guy. I'm never going to see this movie, but people seem to really like it. So Yeah. Everybody who's seen it has enjoyed it. When it's streaming, I might peruse it if it pops up. I'm sure it will be on Paramount Plus. Like, like Uncharted's on Netflix. And I was like, oh, I'll watch Uncharted now. Yeah, I, I love that. was a great movie. Yeah. It was a fun flick. Yeah. I think you did a pretty good job. Yeah, especially now since it's so quick. Like the movies are popping on streaming so quick now. It's like if it's not a movie I really want to see in the theater, I'll wait. Yeah, I mean, 45 days, it's, they're just, yeah, yeah, quick. Yeah, it used to be three months for 
the VHSs, remember? No, a lot longer. Remember when we were kids? I mean, almost a full year. Yeah, well, I mean, it got to the year. point where it was like three months, and then they got like a movie, a movie out on DVD and stuff like that. Well, I remember Home Alone. Star Wars never even got on VHS until it was like, we did that thing at the media play. That yeah. was the first time all three of them were together in one spot. I think that was the first time on DVD. No, it was the first time they were on VHS together as like a set. You you can buy the Star Wars collection. I have an old Star Wars collection okay. on VHS. Maybe it was DVD, I don't remember. It was I think it was, it was DVD. It was the first yeah. time they were on DVD. I just remember going back to Dan's house and watching Star Wars afterwards. I, I think I, I don't yeah, we did that. Yep, we did yeah. that. Yeah, for some reason. We were, but it was like so, uh, so tired. Oh, because it was the new, it was the, the first time that Lucas versions. It was a special, oh, yeah, special, special version. Editions, that's what it was. Special editions on DVD for the yeah, first time. That's what it was. Yeah. Um, yeah, it wasn't VHS because VHS yeah. was kind of like DVD was a new platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Warner Brothers, well, obviously Discovery bought um, Time Warner. bought everything is what basically happened. Which is weird because it's just bizarre. Yes. So anyway, they're canceling things left and right, and they cancel a $90 million movie, yes. Batgirl. Yes. And Michael Keaton, Batman, is in that movie. And he's also making it, he, I think he's, he comes out of retirement in the Flash movie. Yeah. And then he continues in the back row movie. Yes. So the back row movie gets canceled. Yeah. And people are upset. And obviously, we don't know if the movie's good or not, but. And it wasn't even done. Well, so there were so test screenings and they didn't test. Well, they shot stuff and they were in it the. It was process. almost done. It was done. Basically done with initial shooting. They were going to have to go back and do like pickups and. Reshoots. Whatever. All movies do that. Yeah, but which is what all movies do. They, basically, it was in the editing process. And then Discovery came in, and Discovery bought Warner Brothers, which owns HBO, which owns DC. Yeah. And basically, Discovery has walked in the door and said, We're stopping the money train. Everything's stopping. Not they canceled, everything. They canceled all original programming on TNT. So, like, uh, that uh, the train show that's on TNT. Snowpiercer? The Snowpiercer. They canceled that. They got canceled? Yeah. They canceled every all original programming on TNT and TBS canceled. Like that's why Samantha B got let go. That's why they stopped. That's why they canceled her show. They're not going to do any like new programming whatsoever. For right now. Well, that's they're on TBS or TNT. No new programming is happening. Yeah, for now. I mean, in the future, Period. I'm sure they'll have. They'll, they'll... Period, they said. The only thing they're going to carry is the NBA. And that's it. That's really the only like, and they have like the other wrestling company, AEW. Those are the only two like original products they have. They're basically just going to be rerun central on both like the home of Law and Order. Well, TPS constantly shows reruns of... Um, uh, Big Bang Theory is going to be on TBS constantly. Now. Uh, Friends. Yeah, Big so Bang it's all that kind of Theory, stuff. Um, American but, Dad. And then even on the HBO side, they're going to kill HBO Max and it's going to get absorbed into Discovery Plus. That's a rumor. The rumor is it's, HBO Max is still going to exist. They're going to merge both, yes. both of their apps and together. Streaming services together. Yeah. It's probably just going to say HBO Max. That's been rumor. They don't yeah. know. If, if I had to guess, HBO Max probably does way better than Discovery Plus. So Discovery Plus will just get merged. Well, if you're the company that owns it and you're called Discovery. I'm HBO thinking, has more. You might change it to Discovery Max. Or discovery or something hbo know. max has more branding than discovery well, well discovery. even like the worry now is they're going to start canceling hbo stuff and stopping production hbo stuff 
that's all speculation. Yeah. I don't think they are because each. I mean, the fact that they're canceling has, movies, like DC movies. Well, one they canceled just one. That's it. Well, see, the thing is, I don't know if they. My thought on that was, are they canceling the Batgirl movie? They said it got bad testing. It got. It well, was. Besides that, but I think also, is there also a connection to this bigger story that just happened? Or a continuing saga of Ezra Miller. No, if because, that story is connected to Batgirl. But Ezra Miller is not in the Batgirl movie. No, no, but Ezra Michael Miller, Keaton, like you said, shows up in the Batgirl movie. Michael Keaton's Batman does. Yes, and if he debuts in the Flash movie, you're not going to ever like release that Flash movie. How can you release the Batgirl movie? I don't know. You have to have stuff that connects back to that movie. Uh, that's we don't we haven't seen or this is all speculation but he is pulled out of retirement or that's the word anyway yeah. in in the flash movie yeah um the Batgirl movie the what they what the phone calls that have been reported during their meetings mm. they they had said it didn't test well and that they are not putting out a movie just for the sake of putting out movies anymore they want to make sure they're good mm. um so that's why they put the kibosh on it um it's just crazy it's a 90 million kibosh I mean, the only thing the only like thing about that is it's not money they spent no discovery spent it's money warner brothers spent so right in discovery's eyes it's like well we didn't spend that 90 million dollars doesn't bother us any Right. And now now today, as of today, Ezra Miller has been arrested for burger uh, breaking and entering in Vermont. Um, so he has a laundry list of problems, of arrests. Um, you know, he has accusations of uh, allegedly grooming a teenager. Um, and I say allegedly because until it's brought to court, yeah, it's no. not an actual thing. Right. Anyway, I'm just blown away that the Flash movie, they have come out and said they're excited for the prospect of this movie coming out. Yeah. I just You're don't... kibosh the background movie. Why wouldn't you have kiboshed the Flash movie? The that's, what I, that's what a lot of fans were saying. They're like, you're telling me the, the, guy, the movie starring a guy that is allegedly doing these horrible things and has been arrested numerous yeah. times, you're okay with... But the Batgirl movie that's literally almost done. And you know what? You could make, you could pay, you could, pay it. you could fix it and still put it out. Spend a couple bucks and fix it and then put it out the way you want it to be. Right. It just seems weird. It does um, seem weird. Now, my my brain thinks that like we're, 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 we're into TV stuff, Mark. So I think, okay, when a movie comes out, people go and promote it. Yeah. Other than Michael Keaton. Who are you going to send out? Who are you going to send out the pro? Nobody's going to want to have Ezra Miller on their talk show. What if they just like, if they just said, you know what, we're just going to throw it on HBO Max. Not release it. It they, just pops up on HBO Max. That's it. No, yeah, they could. Record, no, nothing. Just here it is. That's where it, it is. is. Yeah. That way you can watch it if you want to watch it. If not, we don't care. Right. I, I we'll kind of feel like that might be the best. It's, it seems like the Flash movie in this scenario, not with all the Ezra Miller stuff, minus all that stuff. The Flash movie right now is very much the same type of thing that New Mutants went through during the Disney Fox purchase. Yeah. Like, it was a movie that was already made. It was already done. It wasn't, like, very well touted. It was kind of shelved quietly. No one really talked about it happening, what happened to it. And then Disney purchased Fox, like Discovery purchased Warner Brothers. Yeah. And now this movie's just there. And instead of like putting it out in the theaters, it's just like, ah, it's on HBO, it's on Disney Plus. Right. Yeah. Totally. I think that's, va- that's pretty much what I think is going to happen with this, with the Flash movie. It's going to be like, ah, it's on HBO, Plus, HBO Max. I agree. And I almost think I could see them still wanting to put this in the theater because I almost feel like they think this is their Spider-Man No Way Home. You're having yeah. Michael Keaton come back. This is big. Yeah. And I get, I've said it in our chat. I get so depressed that my poor Michael Keaton, 
he he's in one movie as Batman, it gets shelved. Yeah. He's in another movie as Batman, his big comeback as Batman. Everybody wants to see this, and the lead is now just yeah. dragging everyone's name in the mud. Um. No, I'm doing the podcast. Chris just popped in. He's here for volunteering. Is this show at one o'clock or twelve? It's at one o'clock, but Chris just appeared because he was volunteering over at Fermi for a company thing. Oh, it did not happen. No. So fun, fun stories are happening. Back to here, but 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 yeah. So I don't know what's gonna happen with this whole thing. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah. We'll see what happens yeah. with it. If Flash appears, if it doesn't appear, where it goes, what happens with it? Who knows? Poor, poor Michael Keaton. Or Michael Keaton. He should have stayed in the MCU where he belongs. Or the Sony MCU thing, whatever. Yeah. Whatever's yeah. happening there. Yeah. Stay as the vulture. Give yeah. up that man. Yeah. Well, we should wrap up the show, Mark. We or they or Discovery could just play it smart and just put out Batgirl. Uh, Batman and don't Beyond. Put or make make a Batman Beyond movie and just do it the right way and have Bruce right. and have Michael Keaton play Bruce Wayne in that. Scrap them both. Get rid Scrap of the flash. Start from scratch. Right. I agree. Um, that could happen. Who knows? Yeah. So next year, we'll know if the flash is actually come to theater. But I mean, Ezra Miller getting arrested today. Ah. Yeah. I, I think it's like, it's also that thing of it's was pushed so far out now because of the pandemic and everything that, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they're just like, well, it's so far away. Why are we even going to worry about it now? Right, we'll wait. Forget about it, and then we won't have to say anything. We could just shelve it and not say anything, and we're just throwing HBO Max next year and just be like, "It's that's yeah." We don't have to answer or anything. It's just right. You know, I would be fine with that. They just put it on HBO Max and call it a day. Yeah, because then people can just choose to watch it or not. Yeah, you know, it's gonna sink in the box office. I can't imagine. It's one of those things. It's like the New Mutants for Disney. It doesn't hurt or harm discovery right. at this point it's already been made yeah it's just there it's like they can release it not release it doesn't affect them whatsoever so. well it's going to be the promotions and it costs a lot yeah. of money so yeah. do they want to spend the money promoting it or do I they don't think even would do that like they didn't like disney didn't do anything with new mutants they just put it out yeah and if it was in the theaters like a week it was even barely in the theaters and it was on disney plus yeah so they could do the same kind of thing with that that's true. All right, Mark. We, All right. Should, we should wrap this up. Yes, before more people up here. The place never has any people in it. Ever. And then all of a sudden today, everyone decided to show up. So. All right. Well, next Monday, we'll do the show on Monday. Okay. All right. Sounds good. That's good. All right. We'll be back next week. We'll we'll be talking. We'll get ready for She-Hulk. A um, bunch of other stuff. And um like and subscribe and we'll see you in a week yes and as always be safe be well be kind rewind bye everybody bye bye